His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Right. Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door, now. Quit playing around. Let's go. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. 
then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Van Glien consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. <laughs> I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the wild hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Ellen, Kedmel Fali. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt... You've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over, till the next.
could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hardle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morton. Well, come on. And that's if I may, Your Imperial Majesty. Us, but right, wist and wist as you would. You're in I did not have as you wish, Your Majesty. Siri, well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you, I hope you have... listen. It's a diff. Listen to you. I per. Siri, the wild where they were separate. Yes, yes, and who helped her get and into the wild. Hmm. This month's can you? I've done a great deal of research. Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant yes. The detail. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Care Morin. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off.
His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. journey. How was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. <laughs> mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see. Jumps right into a, we've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed, off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. Shame. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, it's either that. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's gotta have a good reason. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep. Preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. 
I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Siri, ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? How can I help you? You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? Mm -hmm. So do I. So long. Can we talk? So long. Eskel's prince. No one else has left the keep recently.
horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Footprints and hoof prints. A goat. Interesting. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, the stench. tracks. The nose knows. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forked tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's Bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Try to limit myself to the sorceresses from now on. No doubt the most pleasant part. Though I'm not sure it ain't the most dangerous, too. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. There it is. I see it. Jake a bad day to leave its nest. Big bastard! We can handle this. Damn it! It's taking off! Hit the wings!
bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a warhorse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Escalin Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. Gracefully, look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Went to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. some. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Something about Yen bothering you? Come on, grow a pair. Give it to me straight. You grow a pair and admit she tricked you more than a few times. That was then. Yen's changed. Right. <laughs> Fine, never mind. Let's go. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge. 
because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Not so fast, Roach. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal. Looks familiar. Baron Gars. Papers have been lying here for years. Sword, judging by his notes. Torhan ought to talk to Vesemir. Berengar consulted him. Vesemir might remember how far he got. of specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking, 
but I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Want to examine it thoroughly. Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Let's examine its head. <sighs> Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects. Like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Mm. Pulse weak, but regular. Yes? What is it, Wolf? No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress, for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were 20, and that's just teachers. As for candidates, I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhan. You were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the anvil. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. But then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. What do you mean? Berengar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. 
Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know what he was like. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Berengar had to turn tail. And since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came back red with blood. And shame. Hardly said a word, and left soon after, never to return. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort's lair? <laughs> I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there, you could be in for a wild ride. Let's dance.
Not your lucky day. River disappears here. We gotta be close. Whoa, an old strong bow. No wonder Berengar got in trouble. Short. Now to find Berengar's things. Diagram. Forging the Torheron won't be easy, but it's sure as hell worth a try.
faster. Most weak, but regular. Yes? What is it, Wolf? See you later, Vesemir. Like that? Pretty, isn't it? Interesting. Not afraid of silver. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri. Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right, no time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the Circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. 
It doesn't bother me, though. I'm not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Shot. What now, you piece of filth? Hunting's almost a diversion with that kid. Gotta give me one. Show me what you got. Well, well, tell her me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah, yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Here, I swear. Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There was a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Come on.
water hang. Great. Last thing we needed. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Got to sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat. Not up for discussion. Yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Help! Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. Investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine, let's go. Hey, little guy. 
all right. You're safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the Foglets to take care of now. You like that silly? soon are you no i will not in fact whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of rivia was duped like a child think we ought to get dandelion to write a ballad about it how's that sound when someone's life might be threatened i'd rather be safe than sorry enough said of course the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Pulverized. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mm -hmm. And wake old spear tip? Mind not stomping like that. Relax, I slip. Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha.
place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Probably. Let's get out of here. Wait. That's for Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire. Who's that? Don't remember? Little guy. A scar on his chin, right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. <laughs> Which us is to walk no more. The stops? This mountain, Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do? Thing three do sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death!
goes. Yours goes no far more. Which is is understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle of elements. Listen, but we Charles come know the witcher say castle. Rocks not there. rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Throw rock, throw. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Over you. Witcher says monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face make. Mm. Um. We do go this. Use sharp back club leave here. Use pass. No quiz. We smash. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Big metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. You might have missed your call. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stones at us, Geralt. Whine about it to Eskel later. Just a few steps more, and we're there. Oh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Nah, just a bit hungover. Been hitting the hooch with Eskel again? No. Been hitting it alone. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? in place then all we gotta do is wait the container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather so how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion let me think oh yeah used axi but i only had to get past one troll other two were busy yeah useful sign axi Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. 
one of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Didn't have to kill them. But I could, so I did. Two whore sons less in the world. Big deal. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. It's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. Which are with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Witches is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Geralt, let's go. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir.
talk. What about? Nice to be together again, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Just missing Siri. Thanks for reminding me. I had to change the subject. Heard a sentimental sob making its way up from your gut. Any idea why she's returned? Shortest version, she's running from the wild hunt. Damn. Going gets tough and you need help, you can count on me. You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment I hear? No. Surprise, maybe. Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. Mom always said I was different. Had some other adjectives in mind, but different will do. See you later. Yeah, take care. to die Marudi, huh? His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen.